Dear students, now we are going to discuss collector to base bias method in detail. This method is also called as collector feedback bias or base bias with collector feedback. In this method, the base resistor is connected to the collector directly. In fixed bias method, this base resistor is connected between supply voltage and base, but it has poor stability. In order to increase the stability, we have to connect this base resistor between collector and base. It provides collector feedback to this base circuit. Okay. So here the voltage drop across this RB resistor depends on this VCE voltage. So what is VCE? It is collector emitter voltage that is the output voltage. Okay. This IB and VBE are the input parameters here i is the total current which is equal to ib plus ic okay so in order to maintain the stability in the circuit we have to keep this collector current as a constant one even though the temperature is raised we have to keep this value as constant so how is it possible due to temperature rise this ic is getting increased correct so if it is increased means the voltage drop across this RC is also increased. If the voltage drop across RC is increased means here this VCE becomes decreased. If it decreases then the voltage drop across this RB is also getting decreased. If RB is decreased means what will happen? This base current direct relation right. So here this base current is decreased. So what is amplification factor? Beta is equal to output current by input current. So from this we can get the relation output current is equal to beta into IB. Correct? So output current is directly proportional to what? Input current. So here due to temperature rise this IC gets increased but at the same time here this IB is decreased. Then we can maintain this IC as constant one. Do you all understand the concept here? That's what given in this one. Since RB is directly connected to the collector, the voltage drop across this RB depends on the collector emitter voltage. This improves the bias stability. So here the very important relation is what? Current gain beta is equal to IC by IB. From this IC is equal to beta into IB. So this is overall explanation here. Due to either temperature rise or parameter variation, the collector current increases through this RC. This will increase the voltage drop across the collector resistance. This will decrease the collector emitter voltage. So here we can reduce the voltage drop across RB resistor. In turn decreases the base current. Then from the relation between IC and IB, we can maintain this IC as constant. Do you all understand this concept? Initially, it's getting increased, but at the end, it is getting decreased and maintaining the thermal stability condition. Okay. Next, we are going to analyze the stability factor. What is the definition of stability factor? It is the rate of change of the output current with respect to the leakage current keeping VBE and beta as constant because this ICO, VBE and beta, these three are temperature dependent parameters. If there is any change in any one of these three parameters, it will affect the output current. So this is the definition of stability factor. Here the formula is S is equal to 1 plus beta by 1 minus beta into DIB by DIC. Consider this as the first equation. In this we are going to find out this IB from the circuit and differentiate this IB value with respect to IC. Then substitute that value in this first equation to get the stability factor. Okay. So first we are going to obtain the base current by applying KVL to the base emitter loop. Okay. So KVL means Kirchhoff's voltage law. Here we have to consider base emitter loop. Here base emitter loop starts from the supply voltage to this ground point. Okay. 
so here kits of voltage la we can take the expression like this voltage rise vcc is equal to the sum of voltage drops so here voltage drops are i into rc plus ib into rb plus vbe correct here this i is nothing but what the sum of ib plus ic correct we can substitute that value here and multiply this rc inside this bracket we can get the value as ib rc plus ic rc plus ib rb plus bbe then we have to take this ib as a common term so ib into rc plus rb plus ic rc plus bbe we have to find out this ib value so we have to keep this term here and move all other terms to other side as minus then we can move this term to this side as denominator that is ib is equal to vcc minus ic rc minus vbe divided by rc plus rb consider this as the second equation okay so we are going to differentiate this term with respect to ic okay so here as we all know that vcc is independent of ic so this term becomes zero so here we can have ic then this term becomes minus rc divided by rc plus rb this term is independent we can put simply zero okay then we can get dib by dic is equal to minus rc by rc plus rb consider this as the third equation so we are going to substitute this third equation in the first equation right so here what is the first equation s is equal to 1 plus beta by 1 minus beta into dib by dic so this term is replaced with the value minus rc by rc plus rb then we can get the stability factor for this collected to base bias is 1 plus beta divided by 1 plus beta into rc by rc plus rb so this is the expression for the stability factor of this collector feedback bias so from this expression we can understand that we can make this stability factor as small by keeping this rc as a larger one or rb as a smaller one okay there are two possibilities by keeping this rb as small or rc as large we can make this stability factor as small to give the better stability okay as i told you stability factor is inversely proportional to what thermal stability so whenever the stability factor is small there is a better thermal stability okay for small rc value what will happen if rc is a smaller one then this term becomes negligible correct if this term becomes negligible means here we can get 1 plus beta divided by 1 plus 0 we can simply ignore this term so it is similar to fixed bias so we have to ensure that rc value as large or rb value as small in this collector feedback bias method okay so next s yes dash it is also the stability factor it is the rate of change of output current with respect to vbe okay here we have to keep this beta and icvo as constant so next one is s yes, double dash that is equal to the rate of change of output current with respect to beta keeping icvo and vbe as constant okay next advantages of collector to base bias it is a simple circuit it provides better stability than fixed bias but there are some disadvantages if the collector resistor is very small then the stability factor s is equal to 1 plus beta similar to the fixed bias then it provides poor stability so for that constraint we have to keep this rc as a larger one for getting a better stabilization okay so this circuit provides negative feedback from collector to base then it reduces the gain